Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants In this video, we will understand the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. The reproductive angiosperms are located in the flower. There are different parts of a flower, which include sepals, petals, stamens, and carpels. Stamens and carpels are the reproductive parts of the flower, which contain the germ cells. The flower may be unisexual, like in the case of the papaya or watermelon, which contain either stamens or carpels, or bisexual, as in the case of hibiscus or mustard, which contain both stamens and carpels. The stamen is the male reproductive part, and it produces pollen grains that are yellowish in color. Carpels are present in the center of the flower and are the female reproductive part. It is made up of three parts. The swollen bottom part is the ovary, middle elongated part is the style, and the terminal part, which may be sticky, is the stigma. The ovary contains ovules, and each ovule has an egg cell. The male germ cell produced by the pollen grain fuses with the female gamete present in the ovule. This fusion of germ cells, or fertilization, gives us the zygote, which is capable of growing into a new plant. So, the pollen needs to be transferred from the stamen to the stigma. If this transfer of pollen occurs in the same flower, it is referred to as self-pollination. On the other hand, if the pollen is transferred from one flower to another, it's known as cross-pollination. This transfer of pollen from one flower to another is achieved by agents like wind, water, or animals. After the pollen lands on suitable stigma, it has to reach the female germ cells, which are in the ovary. For this, a tube grows out of the pollen grain and travels through the style to reach the ovary. After fertilization, the zygote divides several times to form an embryo within the ovule. The ovule develops a tough coat and is gradually converted into a seed. The ovary grows rapidly and ripens to form a fruit. Meanwhile, the petals, sepals, stamens, style, and stigma may shrivel and fall off. This is the reason why at times, flower parts still persist within a fruit. The seed contains the future plant or embryo, which develops into a seedling under appropriate conditions. This process is known as germination. 